Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy. We are at the Pokemon Center. We didn't go very much. I did do some battling offline. Uh, just try to level up Jirachi, uh, Manaphy, and Mew a little bit. But um, I also did this. Uh, I did decorate the Pokeball. So I decorated the Pokeball. I had Blue Fire and Smoke, and I thought that would be pretty cool for a Fire type Pokemon. And what other fire type would I want other than Monferno? Now, when I get my shiny Monferno, I'm going to be putting my shiny Monferno in this Pokeball. And it has a pretty cool effect. It has like a smoky blue fire effect. So I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to probably, when I get some shiny Pokemon, um, put my shiny Pokemon in those decorated ball capsules. I think it'd be pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So now we need... Last episode, we fought Team Galactic. <clears throat> they were kind of causing a big ruckus over here in La Flora Town. I think I'm saying this town's name right. I don't think I am. Floa Roma. Floa Roma. Okay. Floa Roma Town. My bad. So, Team Galactic was uh, giving us some stink. We fought Mars, the one of the uh, Team Galactic commanders. Uh, so now we're going to go through. We actually got the route up here finished. So we're going to go back up through here. Also, on a Friday, I'm going to come back on a Friday and hopefully be able to find uh, right here Drifloon. So that way I can actually get Drifloon in the game. Now, I don't know why this kid has been staring at this tree. If you slather honey on a sweet smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted to that sweet scent. Should I? Why not? I can't do it to that yet. How do I do it? Do I have to do the... Huh. I guess I can't do it to that tree. Um, but yeah, so I did some battling offline and everything. Uh, just some wild encounters, just to try to get some experience points up for it. Ponita. Let's see, let's see if Swift does anything. Not a whole lot. But, I know someone who'd be perfect for this one. Manaphy, water type. I know last episode I was saying Manaphy, and I apologize for that. I'm meant to say Manaphy. I don't know. Again, I'm still kind of out of it. Um, I'm still currently battling a sore throat. So, uh, again, I have some Gatorade up over here to keep me hydrated in case my throat gets to acting up. Alright, you can keep tail whipping. I'm gonna get some experience points for Mana B over here. Here we go. Because I want to level this one up because I want this one to be the water type that I have. There we go, that's one down. Starts to go to level 10. Nice. Alright. Yep. 504. Give me my money. My money, 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 money. I'll come up here. I'm going to grab this item. However, I want to see if there's any wild type Pokemon that I haven't encountered yet over here. There's a Buizel. I uh, will just take it out. Come on. Okay. And dead. I don't know if there'll be anything other than what I've already caught already, which is Pachirisu. 
uh, Weasel, and some other stuff. That one. Bidoof. I don't know why I couldn't think of Bidoof's name. We'll just continue on our journey after we take down the dupe over here. Critical hit, nice. And boom, there we go. I can't wait to get to the part of the game where I can actually travel around with the Pokemon uh, outside of its Pokeball, because I kind of like that. Okay, another wild encounter. Pachirisu, you're not shiny, so... I'm tempted to just run away from it, but... It's free experience. I might as well just continue leveling up my guys. That way... That way, when I go and fight the next gym leader... It's a little bit better. Come on. Now you can do a Jirachi. I don't want to waste a turn switching out of Pokemon. I might. Oh. I'm gonna have to switch my controller and see if there's like a difference in the thumbstick. And if so, I may have to take this controller apart and fix it. If you guys want to see me take something apart and fix it, let me know, because I like doing that stuff as well. I fixed phones, uh, tablets, computers. I've never done anything with a game controller. However, I've seen many, 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 many videos on uh, teardown videos, learning how to replace thumbsticks and stuff, so uh, it doesn't look too hard. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but that's as far as my knowledge goes. Flame wheel, uh, yes. We can get rid of Scratch. That one's not gonna... We can just get rid of that one. Alright. Flame wheel is gonna be really helpful. Especially because our second, uh... Our second actual gym that we're going to fight is actually a grass type, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's grass type. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and switch up Jirachi, just from Monferno. Uh, you guys will actually get to see the cool animation that comes out with the stickers on the Pokeball that I put on there. I just randomly placed them, but I think it looks pretty cool the way it comes out. i make sure you guys are actually going to be able to see it. You should be. Geodude. Yep. There we go. Cha. He doesn't have any good nor does Jirachi. I'm gonna keep Monferno out. Alright. Let's do flame well. There we go. Dude, again? Hold out your last one, dude. Alright. Patricia grew to level 10. You grew to level 13. You have four Pokemon? This early in the game, I've already got NPCs of four Pokemon. Alright. Gotcha. That's your last one. Bye-bye. 
Adios. That was a pain in the rear end. Alright, um, I'm supposed to go down? Oh, there's nothing up there. Well, there's that. Alright, free Pokeball. Okay, so I'm not supposed to really go down that way. I'm supposed to go this way. Let's see if I can run through. Thank you. Yeah. Ran right into her. Alright. Decent word. I thought it would. Alright, hopefully they don't move on the next turn. And mine gets to hit first. Anyway, so here we go. Alright, try to grew to level 12. And if you grew to level 12, nice. They're starting to level up with the rest of my Pokemon. I wanted to catch this thing. Alright, Repel. The reason why I'm also going to be doing the thing to get a lot of money, uh, if you guys watched last video, I put a link in the description to Austin John Play's uh, video where he goes over and shows uh, how to make a lot of money. And yeah, you guys should definitely. Uh, check out that video i don't know if it was yesterday or the day before i think it was yesterday's go check yesterday's if not go uh check the video before that one but one of those two videos they have the, a um link to austin john's channel i think it was the second video it has a link to austin john's video uh or austin john's channel go check his channel out he has a tutorial on how to make a lot of money on here and I'm going to go through and use that because I want to make a lot of money on this game just so I can get a lot of max repels uh, for shiny hunting and a lot of Pokeballs because you're going to have to catch a lot of them. Catching them is, seems to be the only thing to guarantee. Well, not really guarantee, but give you more of a percent that your chain isn't going to break. You seem to be tired. Rest a while. Sure. Rest my Pokemon up. Thank you, strange kind lady. I just let a kid in their home. Alright. Not really anything over here. Actually, I think that was the Pokewatch on the TV. The preceding program has been brought to you by Duelock TV. Okay, nope, that's all I said. Never mind. Never mind. Uh... Do I go to the right or do I go? Nope, I'm gonna have to go through because I don't have cut. Are right, we gonna go through the forest? Eterna Forest, who are you? Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are. Okay, so your name is Techno. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. May I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that this is there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there'll be safety in numbers. Please may I go with you? Sure, why not? I'm not that much of an asshole. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Hey, thank you. That's cool. Alright, yeah, Eterna Eterna Forest, where time stands still. That's cool. I don't know where to really go. There's a that's inconspicuous. Like, the rock is covered in moss. It feels pleasantly cool. Why is there just like a beam of sunshine hitting it? Cool, Wurmple. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and take one of them out. You can use tail whip. I'm gonna try to catch it right off the bat, because I seem to be having some kind of Hey you hit me! Freaking asshole. I'm gonna try to catch it, but uh I've been getting pretty good luck with catching things like right off the bat. It won't happen all the time, trust me. I don't have any quick balls either. Because I'm not that far along in the story. But uh once I get quick balls I'll be getting a couple of those. Alright, so we got Wormple. Too bad it's not purple, but... Worm has a Pitcher Berry. Place the item in my bag. Thank you! I like that. Oh, I don't have cut. What other Pokemon are around? Ooh, Baneri and Wormple. Well, I'll take out Wormple. So I can take, uh, Veneri. So we'll take down Gold. Thank you. Okay, this army moves. Well, that's, I mean, not too bad. I don't think I have anything that won't kill it, though. All right, but near caught. Here we go. I'm gonna read what it's gonna say. What does Spark do if we keep forgetting? The user does electric charge tag on its target. Alright, I'll do Spark. I mean, the chance of paralysis is a little bit better than, you know, what I was going to go with. Alright. Go. Veneri is caught. Thank you. Not going to nickname you, but I will send you to a box. Right when I was going to pick up an item. Alright. Cascoon. Okay, well, I'll pick that one up. Considering I'm pretty sure that's just, uh, that that is just Wormpole's evolution. Might as well, I mean, get another Pokedex entry out of it. Okay. Arden. Agreed to level 20. Alright. Now nah, I'm not gonna name it, but I'll send it to the box anyways. Alright. Give me the item. Antidote. Also, I will say if I get a uh if you end up seeing like a cut through here, it's because I'm gonna be getting a phone call here pretty shortly. So um if there's a cut, I'm splicing two videos together, so uh, just be aware, the story won't go on without you guys knowing. Uh, I'll probably just pause it and, you know, be on the phone with, you know, my phone call. So, uh, yeah. Just wanting to let you guys know. 
Well, I can't go that way. Alright. By the way, did she heal me? Oh, she did. Two. Also, if I'm in the middle of a battle, um, I may have to end the battle uh, while I'm off screen, just because I don't want to be sitting here hearing the battle music the entire time. Taking down the Wurmple. This kid's got three Pokemon, this girl only got one. Okay. I'll just flame wheel it again. Chance of time to hurt that Pachirisu before I get to it. Alright, this Pokemon's just completely out. Oh, I hate that move. Uh, I really don't like that move from Chansey. It just gives me flashbacks. I know I know it's on my side, but Ugh, I hate that move. So bad. Well, the confusion didn't do anything for it, Chansey. You want to start doing something to it? Thank you. And the little one job there. Got Teresa wants to learn how to move Spark. Sure. Go. Yay. Okay. So those two guys are down. What's going on, guys? I'm back. Um, so for you guys, this is probably, you know, just a few seconds. Uh, for me, this is a couple of hours later. I had to take a break. Uh, I had to go do a couple of things in the middle of it. I haven't progressed through. Uh, got my dinner uh, pretty much all said and done. Uh, ate. My boyfriend came home from work. So we're all ready to go through. So let's continue on where we left off. Right. We were trying to get this woman to uh or at least through the forest obviously we're gonna have another double battle this is gonna be where the bunches of double battles are gonna be all right psychics all right Only dark side move I have on here is actually taunt. That's not going to do anything. Let's see if that does anything. I doubt it will. Or at least it'll, it won't do a whole lot. I lied. Never mind. I lied. <clears throat> Energy balls. Not too bad. Confuses it. Nice. Again, that move just gives me really bad memories. I didn't want to do that. 
Okay, just go for that one anyways. Um, that move gives me really bad memories of when I used to go, uh, when I was redoing Sword and Shield. And, um, basically, the Psychic, or the Fairy-type gem leader in Sword and Shield kept using that move over and over, hump my guy when I would unbear, uh, like, unconfuse it. It was annoying. Alright, Mistrevis and Badoo. Both I don't have. I'm going to kill off Badoo and catch Mistrevis. <clears throat> That's not good. Who are you confusing? Right. Cool. I'm gonna try to just throw a Pokeball at it. I don't know if it'll do anything. Because I don't want to kill it. Probably one from your ball. Nope. Alright, I don't have anything that will not kill me. See if I can use the weaken a little bit. Only three levels higher than that. Cool. Oops, all right. Let's use water guns. Let's see if. Nope. Oh shit. I'm. Under the impression my controller has drift. Just not really bad drift, either that or my thumbstick just doesn't like me. Don't hurt it, Chancy. Don't hurt it, don't hurt it, don't hurt it. Please don't hurt it, please don't hurt it. Damn you! You're a little pain in the ass, Chancy, you know that? Oh well. Um, well, maybe it's not too bad. I mean, maybe I can get the do. Because I've already got this too. Kill out that one. Cool. Helping hand. Alright. <clears throat> It's not too bad. It's not gonna hurt it. Let's just see if throwing a Pokeball works. I'm not sure if it's going to. It didn't work the last couple times. Two. Three. Nice. Not complete loss. We did get a Badoo. Okay, that's good. I would love to have gotten Mysterious too. Maybe I can still get it before we get out of the... Um... Forest, but I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to go up and over. Speaking of a mischievous, okay, it's not too bad. All right, we're gonna kill. 
kill out Veneri because we've already got one. Uh -huh. Okay. Going to switch out Pokemon. I'm mm. I don't want to use him because I could kill it. Alright, Growl's not gonna do much slower. Defense or attack. I don't know why I get growl uh, as defense. Like I don't know why I keep keep getting it confused. All right, Chancy, you are not going. Okay, Chancy, you are going to confuse it or hit it. That works. Thank you. Hurt yourself, please. Nope, it remembered what it was gonna do. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's try throwing a Pokeball now that its health is lowered and it's confused. One, two, three. There we go. Awesome. So we got both of them. Awesome, we just didn't get them on the first run. Not going to give it a name. Alright. Now, I'm quite confused just where we're supposed to go. I mean, there's an item right here. I'll take that. Wild Pokemon completely. Ooh, okay. Dust Dots. Looks like we're filling up the Pokédex as much as we can today. I'm completely fine with that. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to try to just throw a Pokéball at it. I don't have any Quick Balls. That's a sad thing. No, nope, I'm not gonna do it. Alright, we're gonna have to try to hurt it somehow, some way. Without killing it. It's not very effective. Alright, I'm using Jirachi. Hopefully it's gonna work. He's got confusion. We're gonna use confusion on it. gonna work. Okay. It's gonna use Harden. The most pointless move ever. Don't kill it. Alright, now throw the Pokeball. I'm gonna have to go get more Pokeballs after this. What? You're kidding. His health is as low as I can possibly get it without killing it.
Look at me stab this. No, I don't. It's level 12, come on! Alright. I give up on the stuff stats. <laughs> like, I give up on it. I'm just gonna end it. Oh, that's lovely. I thought I was gonna be able to catch it. I'm not gonna use all my Pokeballs, so I'm gonna stop though. So. Oh my gosh. The amount of wild Pokemon I keep running into. I'm just trying to get to the next area. Forest. I don't want to keep fetching Pokemon right now. I actually want to progress through the story a little bit. I mean, I know we got to fight Team Galactic in the last episode, but... That's a good level 15. That's not bad. Can I please go through without getting into another battle? <laughs> Alright, we're right here. There's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I wouldn't I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure if that was the exit or not. Alright. Eternal Forest. Looks like all of these guys are fishing. Ooh. Berries. I will plant the berries once I pluck all the berries. <laughs> once I pluck them. Yes. Let's do a cherry. Yes. I think both of these are going to be orange berries. Alright. Orange. Nice. Yes, go ahead and put another orange berry down there. And I'm going to water. All of those and welcome to Eterna City. I'm actually gonna go and heal up. Why is this guy just feels great riding a bike with the wind in your face, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. I don't have a bike. My friend said Team Galactic took his favorite Pokemon away. I don't think he's telling the truth. Team Galactic looks so cool, they don't look like common ruffians. Sure, that why one of them's right here. Yeah, you trainer. It's okay, never mind, you looked up. I won't take, um, I'll just keep your Pokemon. I'll just let you- what? Hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back. We're gonna reread that. Is this late at night when I'm recording this part of the video? I'll just let you keep your Pokemon, okay. Oh, okay. Let me heal up real quick. Awesome. 
Alright. Ah, you cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? The PokeWatch app will show... Oh, this PokeWatch app will show you... Show how close your Pokemon feel to you. Okay, we got the friendship checker. That's cool. Also, if you guys don't know, because I know a lot of... I don't know a lot of people are, talk, are talking about it or not. If you want to hide the watch on top, you can just by holding down the right... The R button on your controller. Just hold it down and it'll go away. And when you want to use it again, hit R again. And then... Uh, hit R again a second time, and you'll be able to switch through the apps again. I don't know what this is doing. I think that's the... That's gotta be the friendship level. <laughs> what are they doing? They're just jumping. Okay, I'm having way too much, too much fun with that little part. Okay. All right, we'll just do that. Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's too. Something should be done. The Team Galactic creeps everyone out. Where are they going to do to my Pokemon? Well, looks like we'll be fighting Team Galactic again. When a Pokemon faints, use a revive on the Pokemon. It'll be able to battle again. That, that's nice. I haven't been able to find any revives. Unless you're going to tell me that the Pokemart here has some revives. Do I finally have revives? The last Pokemon I went to did not. None. None. Okay, well, we're going to get some po uh, super potions. How about five of them? And I'm going to get about 10. Oh, I can't. I was about to say, I, I should be able to get like 10. Okay. And give me a premiere ball. Okay. Oh, also, yeah, I'm going to get a couple of other things because... get like five of these because I know I'll find them while I'm traveling around I see all right there we go all right thank you what do you have to say let me tell you something I got into a bad situation in eternal forest from now on I'm not going anywhere without an escape road if you get more gym badges, Pokemon will offer you more items. That's nice to know. You figure that you'd be able to get a revive after you get your first one, though. Eternal City is not anything like it was before, way back in the day. They say this is an old city. It doesn't look it, though. Not with all these tall buildings. Since that Team Galactic building went up, the city's atmosphere has gotten all creepy and tense. I don't know what those people are doing up in that place. Oh, well, maybe we should take a look, because I'm assuming... Yep, this is a gem. Going underground with the Explorer Kid is a blast, isn't it? I want to talk to all these people before we do the gym battle real quick. Since you're visiting Eterna, you need to get yourself a bike and take a ride down Cycling Road. I might not be able to get the bike until after I finish the gym, so I'll just keep that in mind. There's literally nobody in here. Now, what tall building? I already talked to you. Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so stinking rich that we can have one built 
instantly. Or underground man's house digging down for an adventure. Let's go in here real quick. Let's dig up some treasure. I'm from Orberg. I work at the mining museum. I got advice from the underground man on digging up fossils and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They are very hard if you keep hitting them and uh, the wall will collapse. Keep that in mind and you'll be digging up treasure in no time. I can't dig, I don't have a shovel. The ground underground, the grand underground, sure is massive. You're gonna have a blast down there. That's cool. Oh, I am the first, I should have talked to him first. I am the first one to have started digging out the grand underground. I am. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. There's the explorer. Okay, I guess we can start digging underground now. I didn't do that a whole lot in the last game. Um, I don't think it was available in the last game. I'm not quite sure. Again, it was a long time ago I played this game. I just remember playing it for a little bit and then putting it down because I wasn't too interested in it at that time. The Explorer Kit. Use the Explorer Kit from your bag's key items pocket to visit the Grand Underground. Oh, cool. Let me mentor you as to you become a full-fledged spelunker. You follow, just follow my lead. Okay, well, well, where are we going? I'm following you, old man. Got ya. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your Explorer Kit. Can't be used indoors or in a cave. I'll give it a try. That is not me using that. You are controlling my stuff and I do not like that or appreciate it, sir. Oh, you. <laughs> hey, Techno, this is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Well, huh? What am I doing in this expansive of a place? That's kind of a hard answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasures, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eterna City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to get going. I'll see you around. You just floated. What the hell, dude? Okay. Well, in my bag, I'm going to register that. Um, if my controller stops doing all sorts of funky stuff. Alright, we are going to do... Should I do down? Let's do down. Okay. Alright, click Y and we get to go. Alright, let's just travel around down here. See what's up. It's completely weird. Oh, dude, there's Pokemon down here. There's a side up. That's cool. I don't need you, Badoof. Let me go and try to get the side up. A wild side up. Ooh. That's not cool that I just threw out a fire type. I'm hoping this don't kill you, Cyber. That's good. That's gonna hurt me a lot, though. Please stay in the ball. That's all I'm gonna say, just please stay in the ball. Okay. Let's go. We got a side up. We have side up. Awesome. <clears throat> the Manaphy grew to level 15. Nice. Mew grew to level 17. Nice. No! Hadoof, go away. I don't want another one of you. I don't. I really, really, really don't. Down over here. Veneri Bidoof. Bidoof is like everywhere apparently.
Geo dude. Oh wait, 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 wait. That is so cool. I'm gonna have to do this off stream, catching a couple of Pokemon just so I can get through a little bit further of it. But as far as story goes, I won't. That was a close one. Dang. Um, I won't continue on the story without recording it for you guys. So. I'm probably going to mess around in the underground a lot off camera and leveling my guys up, catching Pokemon that I probably can't find uh, above ground. So that's going to be pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Let me get it. Cool. That's your research to level 15. Nice. I don't want to spend too much time down here as I'll probably just explore this off camera. But this is so cool. You go down over here. Now, I see these little yellow things. I'm going to assume. <laughs> what are these yellow things? Again, what are these yellow things on the map? What is this like? I just hit R and I literally had the re like a radial thing. I don't know. I'm Adrian or Adriani. Have you ever dug up a stone box? There are statues inside of those. I haven't dug anything up, dude. I haven't dug up Jack. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to hit R to do that. Would you like to try digging it? Sure. There is a note tucked inside the Explorer Kid. Digging for fossils, I've put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them, and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff from the walls before the wall comes tumbling down, that is. I'm sure you can do it. Good luck, youngster. Something peeing. Okay, so we got a stone. Cool. I know these are the stones that you're going to need to use to get the legendaries, the slates. So, that's cool. You got a blue sphere S and red sphere L. Cool. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time down here because I'm probably going to do this, like, off-camera. A lot of exploring underground. That just looks pretty cool to me. Uh, and I feel like I could do, like, a whole actual hour video just down here myself. I feel like taking a break. Rest is important, too, you know? Sure. Rest me up. <laughs> you and your Pokemon can fully heal from the rest. Thank you, kind sir. That is so cool. I'm going to be spending like a bunch of time down here off camera catching Pokemon that I can't catch up on there and digging fossils up. That, that's that's so cool. Alright, so we're going to head up. Uh, go up to the surface. Aha, uh -huh, I see that you've gone underground. Well done. Take this as a reward. Red Sphere S, Blue Sphere S, Green Sphere S. There are apparently some Pokemon in the Grand Underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. Your road to be, uh, being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. Well, thank you. Why'd you push me? 
That's all I'm gonna say is, why did you push me? I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. Um... Go talk to the bike guy. I don't think I'll be able to get a bike until after I do the gym, so... We'll probably be fighting the second gym leader. In this episode as well. Because I'm wide awake and... I feel like I can just go for a lot longer than what I normally can. Alright, let me talk to this kid. What do you have? The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. I'm gonna have to go to that building to get a bike. Alright, whatever. Let's go wherever this Team Galactic building is. So let's go find that. And then... It's right there! Oh, that's Cynthia. If you guys haven't played the older games and don't know who Cynthia is, she becomes a big main character in Sun and Moon. But, uh, oh, is that a Pokédex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello Techno, I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia, I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokémon mythology lately just around out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokémon, according to myth. It was an extremely powerful Pokemon. I think that's the one called Palkia. Uh, or Dialga. Probably both of them. There is a statue where both of them are kind of fused together. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way. PM93s. Cut. Okay, so I got that. That's gonna help. I'm gonna have to defeat the gym leader so I can actually use it though. Remember, you can use a hidden move cut from your Poketch in the field or Poke Watch. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then, luck be with you, young trainer. She seems so much nicer in here. And Sun and Moon, she's so much evil. Is she so evil? Okay, I think that's the. Oh! I'll. Okay. That's the Alga. How? Once created, brought for the many dimensions. All things alive or not. Airy at the same space. Such is the thing, uh, the blessing of how. The text is barely legible and has faded completely in places. That's the Alga, though. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna pause the video real quick. Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. Um, cutting the video up to here. I was looking around. So... We're not quite sure. Um, well, I'm not quite sure. But a lot of people have been on... I'm on Reddit right now. And it seems that this is... Uh, the statue of Palkia and Dialga fused together. So that means this is Palkia and Dialga fused together. And I kind of see it now. The front is... The front feet are Dialga's. But the back feet and tail look to be Palkia. But the shoulder blades are Palkia's. Our little shoulder uh, guards. Those are Palkia's. The Elga doesn't have those. That's why I was so confused. Because I know there's somebody. Who was playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. And has all the proof in the world. That, that he can possibly give. That he's playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. And he got the Palkia uh, statue. Or, or he didn't get the Palkia statue. He got the Dialga statue in Shining Pearl. Which you're supposed to get Palkia. And then when he encountered it, it was Dialga. So, this is the fusion, the fused uh, Palkia and Dialga statue. So, my bad, I got so confused. I was about to freak out and feel like my game is bugged. Okay, we're good, we're good. 
Uh, you there, kid, stay away from that Pokemon statue. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. Why don't you fuck off? Why are you out by his house? He turned the came to be long ago in honor of an ancient Pokemon, though many things have changed. What is uh, important has not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I uh, was a wee child, it used to be centerpiece of many festivals. That's cool. That's to 11. I don't want to go that far. I want to simply... One, I would like to find out how to get... I can't get to that. So I'm gonna have to fight the gym leader right now. I don't want the gift right now. Um, all of my team is healed up. I'm gonna go and fight the gym leader. Because apparently it is forcing my hand to go and do that. And uh, once we fight the gym leader, I may uh, finish out this episode. And we'll continue it through the next. I don't know. It just depends what's all going to go through. Uh, actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here earlier, too. The gym leader, Gardenia, is a user of grass-type Pokemon. It should, be real, it should be obvious, but grass-type Pokemon is eight fire. They do. Monferno, our buddy. At my gym... No one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, Sean. So I gotta fight all of them this time. Okay. Not too bad. I will go through. As fast as I can. To find. Alright, I'm just using the D tapper right now. So if the moves are pretty snappy, it's because I'm using. Uh... Where's the other freaking trainers? Dude, these are like three weird trees here. What? I didn't even see you, to be honest. I was spamming A. Like, just literally, I was just spamming A. Okay. If you say so. Weird, but cool. Uh, Rosalia, no. Monferno's mm. gonna be getting his experience in. Still in the state of shock. What? I wasn't even shocked. I was just trying to find. The next turn is at the end, past the two boulders, I think. That's nice. What two freaking boulders? Okay. Two boulders. That's weird. Aroma Lady. That is the weirdest title I've seen in a Pokemon game. Aroma Lady. Simple. Hey Luxio, level 20. 
Monferno's getting his work put in right now. And Poison Point. That's not a good... That sucked. I should have Embered it. Ugh, I'm gonna have to give it a poison, uh, an antidote. Alright, I'm not gonna fall for your little trait. I'm gonna ember you. I'm already poisoned, so I don't wanna take any more damage right now. Alright. The more beautiful flower, the faster it withers. That's depressing. Oh, that's right. A hint about the next trainer in the middle of the trees. That's it for my hint. Good luck. Well, you're freaking crappy. Let me guess. It's going to be that. Dude, how did I get in here? Okay. I'm lost. I'm stuck. Hang on first. I'm just, just stuck. Oh my gosh. Uh, antidote. I am so lost at this moment. Nope. Dude, how do I get out of here? Did they trap me in here or something? Jesus! Why was it so hard? I don't get- this is the stupidest- This is honestly the stupidest- gem that I, I, I literally ever fought in Pokemon. Completely out of all the generations. Out of all the games. I hate this gem. Oh my god. Kurtwig, you're dead. Alright. What's your point? Like what what do you what, what mysterious four flowers? One, two. Right here. I don't get this. I really don't. Alright. Hopefully I don't make a big, like, full of myself like I did in the last gym battle, where I completely just screwed it over. Thank you. Man, if he grew to 16, nice. Hey, Super Sonic, that's nice. No, who you beaten me? There's only one. There's only a gym leader left. Okay. If I can get my ass out of here again, I'll make it so weird. And then my dude wants to get stuck on every tree possible. And he turn his gym. I mean, he turn his gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. Sure. This'll be fun. Let's have our battle. Aye, aye, aye. Alright, Shruby. Easy enough. Flame will.
I think this one's gonna go a lot easier than the last gym. Turtwig, keep. Ay, ay, ay. Rosary, keep. This is gonna be her last one. Is it? Yes, it is her last one. And I'm a higher level. Ooh, grass knot. It's not gonna hurt a whole lot, but. Come on, do your damage, Monferno. That's a good boy. You damn berry. It's alright. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes, I do, Gardenia. Yes, I do. You're gonna grass knot it. I'm gonna hit it with another flame wheel, and it's gonna die. Okay. Boom. Easy enough. I. This should be redemption for the first gym, because I really made a big fool of myself on that. Alright, wants to learn endure. Hi. No, no, let's just keep the old moves. Nice, nice, nice. Level 17, man, if he's getting up there. Alright, they were just little, little babies at the beginning of this, uh, the little, at the beginning of this video. So, they, they leveled up a lot this, this episode. But you're really tough, wasn't it? Hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Grass-type badge. You received the Forest Badge, aka the Grass-type badge. Alright, with the Forest Badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your Poke Pokewatch. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you received in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else for you. These are a gift for me. Stickers. That's nice. TM86. Oh. Contain Grass Knight. It's one of my favorite moves. I could tell. The heavier the opponent uh, posting Pokemon, the more damage this move will cause. Okay. Well, that's nice. I'm going to talk to this guy, see if he's going to give me anything. You look much tougher than when you went in, too. Cool. You're not going to give me anything. Pretty sure something's going to come up now that I've left and I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. That was the bike place. Not where I wanted to go. Now I can actually go through and go to Team Galactic. I'm going to that heal up for a few. Alright, we have spurred your Pokemon to full health. We have to see you again. Try exploring Eterna City. Okay. Now that I've left that, I'm going to go ahead and save this and end this episode off. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day today. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for part five. Yes, this is part four. I report I recorded part three earlier. This is part four. Stay tuned for part five. We'll be continuing through and battling Team Galactic in the next one. I can already tell it because I'm gonna have to go through that tower to get the bite. So stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.